Good morning, good morning everybody. Um, I wanted to come on here, hope you can hear me. I wanted to come on here this morning and kind of share what was on my heart. I haven't made a video in a million years, but I think that this is pretty timely as we uh, continue to go through the day and, and in out this year. Um, I was driving into work today and Holy Spirit kind of placed in my spirit to just talk about forgiveness. Um, we get around the holidays and we're contemplating going to uh, this place or this party or spend time with these specific people, family, friends, whoever, whomever. Um, and what kind of dropped in my spirit was forgiveness and um I know people have been saying, oh, you know, for years and years, these are the last days, these are the last days, but I don't know if you if you see what's going on in the world, these are really the last days. <laughs> and so you wanna make sure that you're right. Um, you know, back to forgiveness. Uh, I've learned over the years that forgiveness is really for you. And, um, and it's for the other person too. Uh, because who really people really don't want to be mad with folks <laughs> people really don't want to harbor those things um, those emotions because our temples aren't supposed to have unforgiveness and uh, malice and anger and um, an anxiety and all those things God didn't create up the, the temples to be like that and so that's why you see people with dealing with all types of issues when it comes to mental illnesses bodies cancer high blood pressure um it's not meant to the bodies aren't meant to have those things going on in. and so i just wanted to kind of share just to be mindful this year like this man you before the end of the year get it right if you got somebody in your heart and i know you know who who you're probably thinking about you know forgive a you might not be at peace with me, but I'm at peace with you kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And and even if you got to reach out to someone and say, you know what? I want to ask you for forgiveness for the way and the things that I've been thinking towards you. You ain't got to go all into detail. Well, you did this, you did that. No. Because in, in, on the flip side, they'll say, dang, I should be apologizing to. Um, I just think that. Uh, I, I'm noticing that a lot of people are really dealing with unforgiveness. They're mad at folks. Uh, even if someone offend you, offends you, you know, the, God says that this word, you will be offended. <laughs> so don't count as strange. These are opportunities for you to forgive and to say, you know, on the contrary of things, um, it ain't worth it. No one is going to we should not allow anyone to allow us to have a blockage or a barrier between us and God and block our blessings because essentially, really, it's not my opinion. God said, that if you don't forgive your brother, I won't forgive you. So I, I, I was like, God, ain't nobody, ain't nobody here <laughs> going to cause me to be in a place of unforgiveness. So uh, I want my relationship with God to be good. Um, and so just to back up that with context and scripture, Matthew 6, 14 and 15, it says, uh, if you don't forgive man, I will forgive you. That's God talking to us. Um, also, it talks about, you know, a lot of Christian folks I've seen, you know, oh, I love, I love Jesus, but you hate your brother. And God says, well, how could you hate the brother that you do see here, but you say that you love me that you don't see? So, and this is just a, this is also for me too. You know, God gives it to me and then I give it to y'all. <laughs> so, um, and I just wanted you guys to 
kind of ponder on that and, and if there's anybody that you have any discord or malice towards man get that thing right get it right before the end of this year don't go into that new year holding on to you know everyone talks about their fitness goals and their you know they're gonna do this new do that new new year new me you know how about you how about you get get the the issues that you got going on with your mama right the things that you got going on with your cousin and you and your co-workers and and get it right get it right because you never know who you might need one day you never know you never know don't 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 have all these bridges that are burned because you never know who you might need you might need that your worst enemy <laughs> so get it right um because god has so much in store and he wants to be able to use you he wants to be able to uh know that he could trust you with his people trust you with people and so you're wondering why haven't i got that promotion yet or wondering why i haven't uh god hasn't opened this door yet or sent me this or done this or done that he's like man i'm trying to trust you with you can't even forgive you can't even forgive your 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 co-worker for stealing a piece of chocolate from you and sometimes when you know this is the most juvenile trivial things that we're holding on to and sometimes you don't even remember what jokers is mad about <laughs> so um so that's 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 kind of what was on my spirit to pray about today and to talk about today and and i hope that it, the message finds you well um and so uh, dear Father, we thank you for this day, God. I thank you for the people that were able to listen to this message. I pray that the message finds them uh, in in decency and in order and, and, and in peace. And I just pray, God, right now for anyone that is dealing with unforgiveness, I pray, God, that they will have the courage and the boldness and the humility to extend the forgiveness that is needed, God. I pray, God, that you will uh, restore mothers and daughters, restore fathers and sons, God. I pray, God, that right now that you will touch every household, God. I pray you said that a house divided shall not stand. So, God, I pray that any divisiveness that the enemy has came in and tried to divide families and, and friends and co-workers and all types of things, um, I pray, God, that your healing and your restoration uh, will come into that space, God, and, and deal with the issues that are at hand, God. And I pray that you wipe the slate clean, God. I pray that the people are filled with your anointing, God, that people are saved this year. People are, are joined together, God. People are baptized. I pray, God, that people are filled with your Holy Spirit, God, because we are needing you in this hour like never before, God. I pray, God, that you bring forth healing, and I pray that there's forgiveness. God, and I pray that your word shall be done, God. I pray, God, that we lay down every weight, God, that is holding us captive, God. I pray that we're taking thoughts captive, God, and I pray, God, that you're restoring right now, even now, God, that you're healing hearts, God, that you're healing minds, God, and I just thank you right now for relationships to be restored. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, God, that you bring back together things. I pray for that you lift up marriages, God. I pray, God, that you heal and you restore everything, God, under the sound of your voice, God, shall be renewed and restored. And God, we thank you by faith, God. And God, I pray that you touch the, the bodies. I, I pray, God, that you, you touch our minds, God, that you, anything that Satan is trying to divide or cause distractions or destruction i rebuke it right now in the name of jesus god and i just pray that you go before us and make every crooked path straight god and let us abide in love god extending that love god freely and god let our presence be our presence and god i ask all these things in jesus name amen amen and amen you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.